Cuba is still cleaning up from Hurricane Adelia after the west of the island was hit by heavy rains, leaving hundreds of thousands without power. Patrick Oppmann shows us that damage. Adelia brought so much rain to this part of western Cuba that if I'd been here during the height of the storm, residents say, I would have been completely underwater. Those floodwaters are now receding, but you can see behind me that there's still some homes in the distance there that have been cut off by the heavy, heavy rain that Adalia brought to this rural part of Cuba. Residents say that officials had to come in the middle of the storm and rescue a lot of people from these homes, dozens of people, they say, who were up on the roofs who were in danger of being swept away by floodwaters. Miraculously, they say no one was injured, no one lost their life, although obviously uh, there is damage to people's homes, to people's property, and that's always very tough to see, particularly in a part of Cuba where people uh, appear to have so little. There is something of a silver lining, though, to the storm for Cuba, and that is residents tell me that they have been experiencing a severe drought this summer, and so the heavy rain will actually help with that. Dahlia did not hit this part of Cuba as strongly as it is hitting Florida. It came in as a tropical storm, then gained strength and left as a category one storm. And that's why we don't see as much damage here. For the most part, uh, trees have not been knocked, knocked down. Power lines uh, in some places, power is being restored. Hundreds of thousands of people were without power. Uh, that is slowly being restored. All the same, though, people in this part of Cuba are used to hurricanes. It's part of life here, uh, and they say that with months, with months left to go in this hurricane season, they're not letting down their guard just yet. Patrick Gottman, CNN, the town of Isabel Rubio, Cuba.